What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at a pocketable travel router from the guys over at GLINet. This is their latest, greatest, and fastest travel router yet with a super cool light bar on the front. But this router is so fast and has a ton of advanced features that you could even use it as your home router. A pocket-sized travel router comes in handy more times than just when you're traveling. You can get around those hotel paywalls. You can get around a lot of things when it comes to, when it comes to connecting devices to hotspots and whatnot. But you can also use this thanks to being able to work remotely. This can be your new office router that you can separate from your main home network it's just a great idea and again there's so many so many different uses that you can use this travel router for thanks to being super fast and thanks to being super secure but let's go ahead and check out barrel together and show you how to set it up and tell you a little bit more about it Travel router comes in super handy, not only for when you're traveling on vacation, but thanks to the ability to work from home these days, to work remotely when you go to that coffee shop, when you're just sitting outside doing your work, you can make sure that all of your devices are protected. Using free Wi-Fi is always a little bit of a gamble. You just never know who's lurking around the bend trying to steal your information. So with Barrel, you can connect all of your devices and keep them secure. It's also a good idea if you have a shared office space, you can just work quietly wherever you are, keep all of your devices protected again and make sure that no one's able to eavesdrop on your data. Now what I like about Barrel is it is a very, very advanced router in such a small form factor. You get a lot of ports, you get three gigabit ethernet ports on the back. One is a combination WAN-LAN. If you are using this in repeater mode, you can free up that third gigabit port and use it as a LAN port. So that's definitely something that I appreciate. You also get a, a multi-function USB 3 port on the back so you can plug in a pen drive for shared storage or you can plug in that 4G modem and use Barrel as a remote hotspot. You also have a micro SD card slot on the side which can be used for shared storage as well which support up to 512 gigabytes. On the other side there's a switch to turn on or off your VPN service and you also have a power button as well. What I like about Barrel, I like the pocketable design, I like the small form factor, but what I really like about this product is there's a lot of advanced features in it. We even have remote access that'll give you information about every client that's connected. You can block certain clients, you can set a quality of service, limiting the upload or download speed. You can turn on or off the Wi-Fi. You can pretty much do a lot of things remotely, and that's what I like about the GLINet products. Their remote access is actually something really good. It is also a very advanced router, so you have port forwarding options. You also have VPN policies as well, so you can go in and select certain devices to go through your ISP and certain devices to go through your VPN. You also have the ability to set guest networks, and this is a dual band Wi-Fi travel router. So you get 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands. You have a lot of different security measures for your Wi-Fi password as well. So again, this is a very advanced travel router that I personally really like. The best way to connect to Barrel is with TorGuard because with TorGuard you can use their WireGuard service. With WireGuard your speeds are going to be about 100 megabits down. If you use the old OpenVPN protocol, you're only going to get about 20 megabits down. So again, it's a huge speed difference. And also if you use code JabberTech for TorGuard, you're going to save 50% off for life. So that's really a no-brainer. At less than $5 a month, you're going to be able to have some super fast speeds and also protect yourself as well wherever you go, whether that's at home, at the office, or when you're over in the Maldives. Really, this is the best option for you guys. And with Barrel, you can take it everywhere you go. You can keep this in your pocket, travel with it, work with it, play with it. Whatever you want to do, Barrel will be there with you. Looking at the speeds, Barrel is a very fast, very capable router. Whether you're connected via cable or whether you're connected via Wi-Fi, you're going to get some super fast download speeds, and that's what I really like about this device. It is one of their fastest travel routers to date, and it is one of their most secure, one of their safest and easiest to set up travel routers. That's why I give GLINet a lot of credit. They, they really know how to make a router. To set up Barrel, it couldn't be any simpler as well. I really like the setup process with TorGuard. They have an online configuration tool where you just have to choose the protocol, either OpenVPN or WireGuard, click on your server, click download, and that's basically it. Copy over that configuration into Barrel and you're good to go. So with TorGuard, not only are you saving 50% off using code JabberTech, but it's also an easy way to set up this router. It's a very, very easy process. If you have another VPN service and you want to set it up, they will provide you with guides on how to do so. Just go into their facts section and you'll be able to find the guide to set it up with a router. But TorGuard make it super simple and that's why I recommend TorGuard. Once you log into the interface of Barrel, it's a very clean, very easy to navigate interface. That's why I like these GLINet products. They're very easy, so no matter what your skill level is, you will be able to set this up. And if you want to look for more advanced features, there are definitely advanced features in this travel router. But I just want to show you some of the settings here and kind of get you rolling on how to set this up once you purchase Barrel. So at the top here, you'll be able to see everything about your connection. You'll see how you're connected. 
So right now I am connected via an ethernet cable. I'm also using this in repeater mode. So you can see that both right down here. In the center, you see your shield security right in the center, letting you know whether or not you're being protected by your VPN service. Underneath, you'll see your four SSIDs. So you get two main networks, one on the 2.4 gigahertz and one on the five gigahertz frequency. Then you also get two guest networks, again, 2.4 and five gigahertz. So I really like this ability to have a guest network on my travel router. And now you see my security shield has just activated. I am being protected. My whole network is being protected with WireGuard. I do believe most people will use this as a travel router when you're in that hotel, when you're in that Airbnb situation. So I'm gonna disconnect my cable. I'm just gonna show you how to set it up as a repeater because that's how I think most people are gonna use it. So if I just disconnect from my existing network, I'm just gonna re-show you how to do that. It's very simple and Barrel will remember the password to the network you've connected to. So that makes it very simple. When, you've, when you frequent that coffee shop, you don't always have to enter in the password. Just go down, click on scan. It's gonna scan for all, all the networks available. And once you find the network that you wanna to connect to, all you have to do is click on connect, put in that password and you're good to go. It'll start repeating that network very, very quickly. Now that I'm repeating the network, you'll see all the information here and you'll see how you're connected. You'll see this little Wi-Fi signal just letting you know that you are using it in repeater mode. You can also tether from your phone if that's something your phone allows you to do. Again, plugging in that 4G modem to that USB 3 port on the back definitely comes in handy when you're traveling. I know in Europe that's a very popular thing, not so much here in the US. There's a couple more settings that I want to show you. And if you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments below. But under the wireless tab, this is where you can set up your, your, your wireless networks, change your names, change your passwords. You can also change the transmit rate. So if you don't want it to broadcast super, super far from your location, you can go ahead and change that to low. Again, it's a very advanced, very functional router. And that's what I really like about it. They call it a travel router, but it really could be used as your main router. Here's your guest network. So you can do the same thing, change the name of your guest network, change the password, etc., etc., And you can do the same for the five gigahertz network as well. Going into the clients tab, you can see everything about each client, whether they're connected via cable, whether they're connected via the guest 2.4 gigahertz network, or if they're on the main five gigahertz, you can see in real time the speed of the upload and download, and you can see how much traffic they're actually uploading and downloading. If you want to set a quality of service and limit that speed, you can go ahead and do so, or maybe you want to block them all together. Again, a lot of advanced features in this travel router. Under the VPN clients tab, this is what makes Barrel super, super useful and sets it apart from just about any other travel router on the market. You have the choice for OpenVPN and you also have the choice for WireGuard. So this little dot next to WireGuard shows me that I am connected. And indeed, in fact, looking at the security shield, I am connected to WireGuard. But if you want to set it up again, just go to management, add new configuration, drag your file from your VPN provider right into here, give it a name, and that's basically it. You also have an option to set up an OpenVPN or WireGuard server but you can only have one running at the same time. So if you have your client running, you cannot have a server. That's just a limitation to this Barrel device. There's also the ability to use Tor on Barrel. So if you wanna go ahead and connect to any sort of node, you have all your exit nodes right over here. You can choose the country and just connect to it. It's just another layer of security if you guys wanna do that. Going into more settings, there's just a couple settings that I wanna show you guys. In LAN IP, you can change the IP address of your main network. You can also change the IP address of your guest network. So I think that's something pretty cool. And you also have the ability to set static IP addresses for any device connected to this travel router. Again, that comes in very handy if you have security cameras or you have a server and you always want it to use a specific IP address, you can go ahead and bind that IP to that specific MAC address. Now, speaking of Macs, the Mac clone option is something super huge. This will come in handy if you're connected to that hotel Wi-Fi and they're being a little bit stingy with how many devices you can connect to. Some hotels will give you a two device limit and some hotels won't. With this option, just clone the Mac that you've connected to it. Once you've gone through the portal and done through every other login that they might require you to do, type in the Mac address of your device into your travel router barrel, and then barrel is gonna connect to their network under the guise of being your cell phone or whatever device you logged into. And this way you can connect as many devices as you want to that hotel Wi-Fi. And that just also brings another point why you wanna use a travel router on vacation. We all know a lot of hotels block access to Netflix, block access to streaming applications because they want you to pay for their movies. Well, with a travel router such as Barrel, all you have to do is connect to their network, connect your Chromecast, and you'll be streaming in no time. Again, you're always creating a network within a network, and that's what I like about these travel routers. The last thing I want to show you is the custom DNS server. This is where you can enable that ad block DNS from AdGuard. You can also choose from a whole bunch of 
of pre-listed ones over here or if you already have your existing server that you want to use you can go ahead and plug it in again there's a lot of options here for the more advanced user but it is a very plug and play router and that's what I like about Barrel. So that's it when it comes to Barrel. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. But if you're looking for a very versatile router, whether that's for when you're on the go or whether that's for your home office or even maybe just at your home, I think this is a great option for a lot of people. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.